they are a husband and wife team. So, um, that's what we're doing. This is the second game. Okay, so I'll just add in more stuff this one, but we're going to keep playing. Why are you right on me? Yeah. So that was Cindy's, right? I don't know how she got that in, but. So did you see it coming and try to get out of the way? No. Okay. Yep. So now if she shows that again, she's de developing a pattern. So you would, I mean, that one barely got in. So normally if you see a wind up at the kitchen, you're trying to let it go. No, good shot. Great shot. I'll let my wife think about that one. <laughs> what are we, uh, one, okay, one, two, two. Me. You're definitely, so his backhand's better than his forehand. Two, two, one. You. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, my bad. I was calling the wrong score. Yeah, so don't panic there. Just go back and defend. Yep. Oh, uh, no. So a lot, of, a lot of teams you're playing against are teams I'm teaching, and they will, right? I'm showing everybody to be super aggressive up there, right? So just keep that in mind. Just go back and get ready to defend. You can still, you have a chance to get that ball. Yeah. And even if I do, if you go back and just get low, I mean, if it hits that paddle, it's going over and you have a chance. Yeah. Yeah. So you're moving before you hit the ball, right? Me. Three, two, one, three, two, two. Me. Me. You. 
Uh, you haven't, you haven't really tried any trick shots. <laughs> oh, I got lucky. Yeah. Yep, and just lift it up. Nothing fancy. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Me. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to let a ball go. Super hard. So that was Don's. Just because once again, you put it back to the forehand, right? He's moving in to get that. You burn him. I just missed the shot, but because I'm thinking so much. So if you do reach and get that one, try to pull it in front of yourself to reset your team. Yeah, she had a good line. What? I saw full line. Oh, okay. Like I saw green. Okay. So score point. Did I serve that? Four, two, one, right? We have three. Me. No. So that's one to let go. Okay, good job, good job. All right, three, four, one. I wouldn't be going forward, but I'm just yeah. seeing what he's got. You? Yeah. I'll start playing later. Right now, we're just. No! Hey, good get right there. Good shot. That's how it's done, huh? Pro shot. Pro shot. Uh. Okay, three six, three six one. You, nice shot. 
So Cindy, when she's getting ready to hit, you need to be completely stopped. Yeah. You would have got. I was coming towards the middle no, which I like. Oh. I do like that. She made a ten percent shot. Oh. I'd rather have you cover in you middle. Stop but you, you, you should have been back there. Yes. Because she was getting ready to hit. That's. Most people are like that. They're still they're running through the shot. Hit that shot when they're getting ready to hit. You need to be completely stopped. Okay, uh, four, six, one. Me, drop. So that was good. Nice hand, Cindy. Five, six, one. Me? Oh, David. You? You? I would have just brought it right back. It was set up. Your paddle already set up to come this way. Okay. If you try to manipulate it, then it made the shot hard. Yep. Does that make sense? Yeah. It was just two. Yes. Gave me a forehand. I'm going to, I'm able to press that shot. Most people can, not just me. Right? You. Your backhand is your actual weapon, not your forehand. So that's where I wouldn't want to give you fours or ones, you know, because your backhand's so good. But I would give you a bunch of these until you show me that you can attack off of it. Does that make sense? That's what I see. This is all about me seeing your patterns, you know. Me. I think, was that two? Okay, here we go. So bad. Yeah, so you're giving her four hands there. So twos and fours, right, would be this left foot and that left foot. Yeah, now see, if you, if you gave me twos, he'd take them. So I'm trying to play, I'm really playing keep away from him, okay. which is obviously, she's got a great forehand and she's going to do this, but that's what was in my head, was keep away from you. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, and that's okay. But. <laughs> right. If you give anybody volleys anyway, though, you're in trouble. I don't care if it's a one right. through four. You got to bounce that ball in front of their feet. Bounce that ball in the kitchen, more of that neutral dink we talked about before anybody especially at your level they're looking to attack any ball so if they get a volley they're attacking it if they get a bounce it's very possible they're hitting it out or hitting the net so just softer on those Lisa That was good. Short return, drive, and you didn't overdo it. Yeah. Right down the middle, perfect. So, I know one of your best shots is hitting a volley on the run. You know it is because you you it it works well because you're moving into a shot and you're hitting a volley. We just have to get our percentages. Okay. Okay. Because you normally I would say, hey, we don't hit on the run. We don't hit while we're moving. But for some reason, it it really works with you. So I wouldn't want to take that away if your percentages are good. Does that make sense? Hold on. Six, seven, one. 
me. You. Yeah, I like that. So this is backhands as weapon. Six, seven, two. You. Me. Yeah, so that one. Yeah, just lift it straight up because that was hugging that net. Yep. I understood what you were doing. Just that ball didn't come up. Me? 7 7 2. Me. David, what are you doing? Fucking dumbass. <laughs> you don't expect those shots. So that works, Cindy. I gave you a volley. You d I gave you a volley. You did a nice little poke. Didn't overdo it. I was surprised. I liked it. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Maybe too much to one person. Yeah, especially the guy. I am not a good observer of okay. what's going on over there. And, you know, like you're saying, watch watch when they're getting ready to hit. Yeah. I, I don't know what I'm focused on. It's just like waiting for the ball to come over the net okay. or, or what, but I don't see that. You don't see the board yet. I don't. Right. You're playing one chess move at a time. I, I am. Yeah. Okay. So we'll work on that. So, Is there an observation? That's why I like going twos and fours because it sets up a pattern that opens up with each shot you hit it opens up two shots so you know exactly what shots are coming back for the most part once we do twos and fours if you're coming straight the whole time somebody's a cat and somebody's a mouse i was setting you up right yeah so dump that off one maybe to keep me honest keep me over here and then go back to a four over there right because we want to get don the ball for the most part Yeah, so stay in it. Yep. So, yes, yeah, so you try to go back to. Right. <laughs> it takes you out of the game. Yep. Okay, 771. Me. No. No. Can I say something? Yes. Cindy. Yeah. You're yeah. Your reaction to the ball you Because I'm already stepping away and the ball is in the middle of the battle. Yeah. Because that with that high ball, he's going to hit her with it. So she's bailing out of there. Okay. Goes yeah. to him anything. Yeah. Ball goes up, you go down. Get ready. Got it. You're still in it. Okay. Well, Okay. Yeah. Eight seven one. You. You. Ball went up. I went down. I nice. Get a good shot. But. Uh, eight seven two. Eight, seven, two. Oh. Okay. Drop. Hey, yeah. I'm not dialed in. Oh, good try. I like that. I hit a bad shot. I got down. He got ready for it. Yeah. We just got in a firefight. You took your chance. It didn't work. Be ready to defend.
So that's kind of your game, the run and gun. Yeah. yeah. Don has no idea where to be on that. Just FYI. Yeah. Uh, eight, eight. One. Me. No. no. You. Out. Me. Ten eight two. Me. No. So that time it worked out because she was hugging middle a little bit and you made her move, so. Because everybody says go cross court, go cross court. It's just this is a very dangerous shot, you know. So are you trying to drop? Or are you not sure? You. <laughs> no. So let's see. We can stay since that it worked out. Let's just stay. Okay. Let's get a drink. We'll go again. Okay. So I'm I'm trying not to say too much. We're we're just still working it out. You know the soccer shin guards? Kind of hide. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know I have a compression hat because I was going to wear that. You know when I first. No, not that I'm going to. Because I got to get back in because I am starting to get back off of the blocks and I don't need. <laughs> and I know your hard game works at your level, you know, everybody talks about, oh, Cindy, 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 you know, how you attack everything and they're really good attacks. As you go up levels, the ball's got to be set up more. Because if you're going, I like how you do attack in front of you, though, for the most part, you know, which gives Don time to react. If we could, some of those need to be reset soft. Uh -huh. That's going to be hard to break. Well, and, and the other thing where you said I keep going too far. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because typically, I still think she's going to get attacked over you. Oh, yeah. So you need sure. to be, you need to know where she's hitting the ball so you know where you're going to be. Um, That's why most comments are coming to you just because. You're gonna get attacked more no, than him. No, it's fine. Um, we were, we were done. I know we were done before you, so we would have put the paddles up. Once you guys got done, we would have taken the court. We're doing a little Does that make right. sense? Oh, I see. So yeah, yeah, we're priority. Done. Okay, thanks, Thank Greg. You. Thank you. Um, the other thing about how I put it so far to the ones at my 
at the level I'm playing, yep. that makes great attacks for him yeah. because they get spread out. And so what do you do when they can get it? How do you adjust? How do we adjust when we there? That's when, the next level. When yeah. they can get that job Like us. Yeah. What are you going to do now? You have to have... Yeah. You, you well, see, and that's why he's telling me not to hit it so far Sorry. to the side. No, no, no. No, I, I started the conversation that way. <laughs> so, okay. So what, what we've been doing with that is if she pulls this person over, yeah. then, you know, I'm ready for that little popper that comes yeah. back. Right, right. And she comes to center. Right. Because they're going to have a tough time returning that one. And that would be at a four, though. Yeah, so that's a setup, the two and four setup. But see, and that's how I end is up to move them over, and I start hogging yeah. these balls that aren't mine. Yeah, here, let's get playing. Okay. But maybe we should just focus more on two and four instead yeah. of trying to get that. Well, as long as you guys know what you're doing, it's going to work. Well, let's not go that far. Let's go 50. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so this one, Cindy, I want you to set more up. Put, try to reset more. Okay. Think of the twos and fours. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Me. That shot's so good, Don. Zero, zero, two. Nice block there. I had to wait for that to come out of the sun. That's... Yeah. Get in. You. Nice. So Don, Don gave me a fluffy middle. So a fluffy middle, we want to look that this person's going to attack. I'm teaching everybody to attack off that shot. Yours, if you get a fluffy middle on your back end, that's probably a good attack. Does that make sense? Okay. No, out. Yeah. One zero two. Me. So don't. I w yeah. A short one. I saw Don back up. So I just gave you a volley. 
instead of trying to rip it. Does that make sense? Because you're just going to basically reset it off my drive, and then the next one I'm going to put away, but I just got it. Uh, 202. You. I just missed it. I flipped it though. Okay. It, it was in, but. So being able to soften that is good, and dropping it right here is the shot, or lobbing it in that corner. Uh, three, zero, one, two. Three, zero, two. Me. <laughs> no. So that forehand, I have so many attacks. If it goes here, I don't have anything, you know. Right? It's kind of a a no-go zone over here. Unless Unless you're in a dinking battle and you have pulled this person to here, then it's open. Otherwise, it's pretty much not open. That back foot there. Uh, four, zero, two. You. Nope, out. When you hit your shot, be ready. You guys are both kind of hit your shot and still not ready for that next shot. So the mantra is that ball's coming back to you and it's coming back to you hard. It's coming back to you every time. So always be ready. Okay, five, zero, two. You? Ugh. That was good. No. Pretty good firefight there. That was pretty good. Okay, six zero. I thought I was serving. No? Okay. Yeah, so that shot, I don't worry about it till somebody shows it to me. I'd rather always squeeze middle. Yeah. Nice. Way to be there. Yeah, that kind of surprised you. You were in the right position. You know, she hit it middle. Everything could could have worked out well. Yeah, you weren't ready. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I like how you attack that attack middle. Once he kind of knows, hey, that's one of your shots, then he'll be more ready. Okay, 5 1 1. Me. Okay. Because I'm moving. Yeah. Yeah, six. And on that back, that hard back, right here is a good shot. If you pull it back across, you guys are actually going to be out of position. You know, because Don has moved middle. You pull it all the way across, you're going to be out of position. So I like that extreme one. If you aren't the best stinker, better than that person, then I just like this little chip right there. Because then you guys have set the, closed the gap already. What am I, 611? 
Six, one, two. Or one. Yeah, because that was a five. So six, one, two. You? So she gave you a one, you know, and you ripped it. Six. That was just a good shot. Yeah. And, but, but once again, Cindy, that was to her forehand. This shot shouldn't hardly ever happen. Yeah. Yep. It, that, it's probably a better shot, but... A lot of them, people are taking out of the air, so you're giving volleys. You're too low on these shots. You're not giving enough arc, which is more something we have to work on technique-wise. It might not be something you're going to fix right away. Your drops are just too flat, in my opinion, because if they're penetrating, it's coming to a volley. Okay, it's coming out too far. I need to drop it. It needs to be more arc, more arc. It's paddle position, yes. From flat to open, more lift than a push. Your push drops become their volleys. Does that make sense? You? Oh, don't panic, remember. Go back. I heard a bunch of oh my goodness. Where you could have went back and got set. Yep. You. No, good. Eight two two. You. No, out. Nine two two. Do you think that was going out? Think. You think her drive was going out? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, nine two two. Me. Yep. Nice shot, Don. Nine. You. Hey, I like you got it over. You gave yourself a chance. That's all you can do. But I, I like what Don said too. Yeah. 
is go wide because they're going to hit an angle. Yep. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, 10, 2, 1. You. That's a good shot. Good job. He's got a good underhand roll. Oh, good one. <laughs> so Lisa gave you that forehand, you know? There's nothing I can do there. You? <laughs> Thanks. So you're giving the, the forehands. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's not a bad idea. Um, we might have to give up the court. Okay. So we'll just get a drink. We'll chill. Okay. We'll talk about stuff. Okay, four! Is there four? Can you grab my pants there, babe? My pants! Pants! I guess. Yeah, we it's could end up on a, yep. Yeah. It's not going too bad. No, it's not. You're right. Oh, I missed those. I love that skirt. Is this a two-piece or one-piece? Like, is this? No. Hey, world-famous. That's world-famous. Big cat. It's hard for me not to be critical. Drilling is what gets you in it, you know. That's why we always kind of start with that dink game, mm -hmm. you know, when we warm up normally. Yeah. And then we're focusing on twos and fours, twos and fours. Because once you get in that pattern, we can teach you the exact shots that come off of it, plus how to position those people, what to do, what to look for, you know, which is the gap or the two people in one court. The twos and fours are important. But you have, would have to be able to really soften your reset. I know that's not your game. And you'll be able to roll over three O's, a bunch of three fives with your game. But to go up one more, right, right. you got to be able to soften that reset. So I don't know what your goals are to look to go to 4-0 or just to stay. Well, yeah, no, I, I mean, I'd like to be able to play with him. But it wouldn't, you know, I okay. usually play usually play one game with him and then I know he needs to go with his people and I have to go with my people. <laughs> okay. I think you could get there when you guys yeah. could be a good team oh, so. going up, but it I, without I, softening that reset, it's mm -hmm. it won't happen. Do you change paddle position in your hand at all when you get into those soft? Do you consciously do that? 
Okay. No. I do. You do. I do. So you get you know. Well, for my game, for what I, my skill set, he has, I think, the same grip. Sure. So at baseline, I'm like this, right? And then I have to either drive it into the in business here. So me down to answer your question about me is I've set up my whole grip so I can do every shot just off of this grip, which is a ping pong, but I also hold it flat like this. This is how I set it up. Yeah. So I can't do continental. I can't. I just don't have the block I want with that continental. But with this, every shot I get straight back to neutral, right? I get straight back to neutral every shot. So I'm not ever really surprised unless they hit some crazy Ivan shot. Because her curves, she likes to have her feet yeah. mm -hmm. all the way up, which I was just kind of like, that doesn't give me a... you, Yeah, you can't hit certain shots with that grip, right. for real. And yeah. if you do, your paddle is open, so it's going to go yeah. up and out, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Like, you lose your favorite <laughs> shot so you either need off of that back yeah. end yeah. with you your, your yeah. angled like rolls. That, you can't That's good. So what's where do you get beat then? Where do I get beat? Yeah, flicks at your chest, shoulder no, shots. I, I do pretty well. Where I get beat, I hit the net. Okay. You know, or I bite off more than I can chew on and get angles. It, get it out. Yeah. Face is closed, maybe. Well, I think grip? it's more. I think it's footwork. Oh, so footwork. yeah, because mm -hmm. watching you, sometimes you'll hit a shot and you're just flat-footed. Yeah, like so casual, and then you hit another shot, but then you get jammed when it comes back to you. True. So true. when if you would hit your shot and be right. more athlete and be ready, you'd get those ones you're missing. Got it. That's that's what I see. Okay. Which is no, you know, footwork and just being ready. So that's what my whole game is. I hit a shot, I go back to neutral. My neutral is a backhand bias, so I can hit any, pretty much get any flicks because that was my weakness. And then I can hit all my carves, I can hit my dinks, everything off of this grip. But it took me years to figure out one grip. Okay, where are we at? So this one, I really want you to focus on resetting. And I want you to play tournament style. So tournament style, what would you do against us? You know, right? Think about that. You? Huh? No? Served and moved in. That's a recipe for disaster. Yep. You. You. Good. You come wide to somebody's forehand. I'm dead because I'm hugging middle. You know. 
Zero, one, two. Wait. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's two in five minutes. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You're setting them up for shots. No, do you want me not to? No, that's just the one one one. I just don't think that's what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's really no shot there. There's really no shot, yep. Set up, set up, set up. Uh two one one. Okay, that was good though. You hung in there. Three one one. Me. Heads up. And he's a wristy player, so a wristy player, if you feel any pressure, it's hard to pull it off. Me, I'm a shoulder, so grow, I get big muscles moving instead of little ones. So I don't know if you've ever felt that. If you feel pressure, that's when your dinks start missing because you're doing real fine motor stuff instead of big. I'm doing big movements, okay? Especially on that backhand. Well, that's your forehand, but yeah, my forehand too. I keep my elbow attached and I move. Yeah. Okay, four, one, something. You. Oh! Way to get in there. I don't think you served, right? You did? Okay. One, four. Okay, yep, figure it out, guys. Oh! That was good. The cream at Tool Jabbar shot. Point two four one. Oh, that's what you get for getting that lob back. <laughs> bounce it, bounce it. Out. So serving and moving in, maybe. Serve and you moved in, you get trapped. See, I like her taking it and putting it in front of you. But unless you guys have that deal. Yeah. Me? Oh, so that one, if you would attack in front of yourself, you had me roasted. But you attack went. You went diagonal. He doesn't know what to do. Yeah. You. All right, five, two, two. Me. Nice, Don. Way to get back. So good. Oh, 
You? Oh, it's good. It's good. Nice work on. Really good. Way to be there. And give him room, Cindy, to do that. Yep. No. Moving. So I like your aggressiveness, but once this person's ready to hit, you need to be stopped. That's twice. Okay, now I have to cover it. Now I have to cover it. Right. Okay. All right, good job. Five, five, one. Me. No. No. High five? High five two. Now what do I do? Good job. I like you hunting up there, Don. Thanks. Great shot, great shot. <laughs> and why'd you change directions? Because I thought you were going to come this way. You thought I was moving here, so you wanted to dump it there? Okay. So that's that's a good idea. Just got to pull it off. It's good to keep me honest, you know. If you would have hit the shot, it was the right shot. Yeah. Okay, five, nine? Five, nine, one. Me. Nice job. Five, 
<laughs> what I liked is you didn't back up though. <laughs> Me. Out. I love it. Love it. So that's where, you know how I can pick on her back end there? That's where I would like the stack, you know? That's where the stack would work. Is if she gets beat two, three times, then this team is going to go, oh, we found our spot. We caught the bone. Oh, there's our bone, the dog on the bone. And we're just going to go burr, 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 to that back end the whole time. You know, we're not doing that today, but right. tournament-wise, once we saw a weakness, we're just going to whoa. So that's where the stack would be able to pull her out, give her a break, you know. Yeah, but, you, you still beat on her, but they would take away that shot, our pattern. Gotcha. So now... We might still go to her back end, but now you're in the game. And you can say, hey, let me have a little more court. Let me give you that break. That's what, that's what tournament style is, you know. And me, I wouldn't be going forward to you ever, you know, because I know that's one of your best shots is taking it from below the net and attacking. So I'm just feeding you balls, but most of my shots are always 90% cross court because it's the safest play. Does that make sense? Okay. Just, you don't, you don't make me any more yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just want to be able to play. At a, at a later date, yeah. we'll work on that. And just like exclusively. Yeah. I got it, Lisa! Yeah. <laughs> I just know, in my mind, I could be anywhere, and I know I'm hitting that shot right there. <laughs> I'm hitting the number four. Me. Oh, man. That was good. Eight, nine, two. Me. So it's nine nine two. Nine nine two. You no. Ten nine two. You you. Good? Yeah, it was. Nice. Very good. Yeah. That's the bailout lob. Yeah. That's awesome. what shot like the bailout lob. Are. That yeah. was my bailout lob. Very nice. That's what I feel that could happen in a tournament. But we can work on their thing different time. Oh, we aren't done yet. No. I'm just saying that game. Oh, it's 11.30. I thought it was 12.30. Yeah, we'll probably go to 12.30 because we have wait time. What are your thoughts? Yeah. I don't want to overdo it. I don't see... I see you're playing well, you know. You're, oh.
Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so my main critique with you, it might be different if we played dudes, you know, but it's that footwork. It's You're just kind of out of the point when you should be in the point, you know, always ready. Yeah. Yeah, I think sometimes. Uh, I'd probably say 50% of the plays against, oh, I'm going to say three of them. Like yeah, and we, we just we have a good time, and I just kind of do and that and that's what I see. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. oh, most of the shots are good, yeah. or yeah, those I are winners. Take my time and, and yeah, not, anyway. yeah, and that's why a lot of times when you come up the level, like play against maybe me and Paul and right. Greg, you're not at the level. Right. Oh, I I know that. Yeah, I like, but I think you could be. I like coming up and playing that because it's, I, I enjoy, it's not as much laughter and fun, <laughs> yeah, that's but true. It, the challenge is, is good. Yeah. And when I'm playing decently, you know, yeah. it kind of works. I, I, and I think you can compete, you know. Where I know where I can always get you is with drives, usually. I can back you up, back you up. So once you, and you did one time, you know, you stayed up there and stopped it. Because I, I find people's patterns super quick, you know, that's but that's what makes me a good player. Oh, yeah. And that's what I think you could do also. Finding the patterns, finding which shots to hit, finding which shots not to hit is crucial. Don't give anybody their favorite shot. Like me, I know even when you come up and play with us, I'm not giving you the backhand. It's not happening, you know. I'm going all forehand, forehand, and then driving at you. Because that's... It's I, higher percentage. It is, it is. For me, I've trained myself. I try to figure out their best shot, and then they don't ever see it again, yeah. you know? And that's what I've always... Your pattern's been the same for four years. Great backhand, great below-the-net attacks. Go for the forehand and hit drives. That's, I mean, that's your pattern. And that's good to know. You know, you have to know that. That's for you to get to the next level. Yeah. And I think the forehand is just your footwork. You're too upright. You're not down low enough. The well, backhand, you are way low. But and I, I know that one, I'll, I'll tend to lean more than take. The stutter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because if I if I take the stutter step, and, you know, I'm there. If I'm leaning. I, I'm all off balance. Right. You lean, and then if you try to flick it with the the wrist, it doesn't happen. No. Where it's got to be low and bringing it back across. Right. The big lever. That's why I like it. My forehand, this lever is all out here. That's why I like short, in the backhand, this lever is so short, it's easy. And especially if you do have a roll, but you don't want to do it all the time. You want to do basically the whole shoulder on those backhands, and then every once in a while shoulder with a roll. Because once you get under pressure, these flicks, I'm gonna tell you after, but I don't want to say it on the mic. Okay. Um, yeah, so the forehand, I mainly attach that elbow, and I try to do cut shots, because then I can move through it. Do you play golf at all? Yeah. Just so the short game, you want to take a smaller backswing and follow through, right? Mm -hmm. That's the same thing in this. With my forehand, I want that's where I use a lot of the cut, because I can attach it. I can go small and go all the way through. If you have to use flick, you can't really control where it's going right. Yep. So that's where once you build that forehand dink up, you're ready to move up, you know? <laughs> okay. I think they're up. I think they're, they got four. I like Patty and Timmy are going. Oh. And Cheryl. Oh, okay. So one more. One guy's right here. No, it's all Jack. Oh, yeah. Okay, keep track. Oh, not one for a pedal up on the side. Oh. Still working, Robin, right? I've got your counselor right there. Oh. Yeah, so a lot of those, you're being able to reset. It's practice and drilling and more. You're not going to learn it today. Oh, gosh, know? no. But 
yeah. just, you know, every time is, is a, a step further. And I trying to work on seeing what's going on over there. Yeah, yep. But see, I can do that on the 3-5 because everybody moves a little slower. They move slower and their patterns are really easy to get, yeah. you know. So it's all the same shot. Yeah, where ours is going to be a little more variety and we're we haven't done it yet but we're normally just going to hit your workshop we started to show it there right right you know okay yeah, let's the backhand. <laughs> yeah let's show a little more level here yeah, you gotta show, show me the cracks so yep. that we know where we're going exactly and i've told don his cracks and but i think too you know it's um, i've evolved over the last well since we've been four years yeah and you know, the, the first reaction is, is to be quick, hit hard, you know, jam somebody up with me. Mm -hmm. And it really took, um, I think it was Mark when I was talking about Mark. Okay. And I said, what did, you, what did you do to really get into your... Okay. Thank you. Really yeah, but what is that on the side of you? Is that like an on-off switch for you? No, it's like to the microphone, the power to the microphone. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, I got you. It's in the... Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. So he, he was like, you know, for like an entire year or nine months, whatever it was, he was, all he wanted to do was hit it's like moderate to soft. So then we're not, not trying to you know, kill it and stuff. We're just you know, we're setting up that. And I'm, you know, that makes a lot of sense if you can get that repetition and that you're just all you're doing that day is practicing those shots, right? Yeah, yeah. And so that put a good thought into my head about, all right, just hit more soft shots yep. than hard shots. I mean, it's that yes. Yeah. So you could play rec ball, but you can drill, be drilling at the same time you're playing rec ball. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So another game, and we're just going to work on me or on our placement and yes. strategy of play. There's nothing really to add. We oh, yes. don't. <laughs> have to keep right doing what we're doing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's do what we're doing, and we're going to play more tournament style. Yep. Okay. Okay, uh, zero, zero, two. Me. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. So I give you one kind of neutral to the backhand, open up that, and then I push it to that forehand. And if you can't roll it, right, exactly. You got it. Uh, one, zero, two. Me. <laughs> no, you guys, you guys will get it. You got to get used to the pace. Two zero two. No, out.
There's just a short return. She had a good rip. Three zero two. View. It was good. Yeah, the next one was going to be so flat. If you would have had a little bit of arc, you guys are reset. You know, I was moving. So three zero. Okay, three zero one. Me. No. Maybe not. I mean, I had that. Because if we're playing a little tournament style, you need to give me room, right? Because it wasn't a third. Yeah. Two. Good job. Nice, nice hands. You. No. Dumb shot. <laughs> you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was just a good shot. Good shot. All right, three, two, one. Me. No. Nice shake and bake. Next level, right? That's kind of plop. That's a plop and dropper. A drop and plopper. Okay, four, two, one. You. That, Good job. that was pretty awesome, though. You're in there like a warrior. Five, two, one. No. Five, two, two, or one? Okay. Okay, five, two, one. Me. Oh, nice skitter. You. Oh, behind it. Yeah, it's probably going out too. Good try. You got it. Oh, I got it. Oh. 
Oh, good coverage. Five three. Five three one. Okay. Okay, Dusty Dell. Okay, I'm in front. So did you commit? Okay. 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 Sometimes people miss because they don't commit because they feel their partner's too yeah. close to them. But yeah, I was gonna drive into Lisa. Okay. But I just. Okay, you just missed it. Stay. Oh, bread basket. Oh, you okay. Do see that? Seven three. Two. Out. I mean, I was there ready, but you were going for something. <laughs> yeah. It's usually a lot of times your grip is too tight. Your grip's too tight instead of loose. No. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, stay. Yeah, they've made three errors off of just us moving. Okay, do see do I'm in front. You. Oh, I can't get it. <laughs> That's just where it backfires, you know. Okay, do see do. Nine, three, two. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I keep doing that. If I take it here, I got to put it back over there. Yeah. Nine. Go deep. Yeah, it needs to be reset. You hit right when she was about to hit, you started moving, and then you get trapped. You just need to be settled and keep fighting your way up on resets, you know? Yeah, work, work your way up instead of spreading your way up. Okay, do see do. 9 3 1. Good one. Yep, moving. It's always the same pattern. 
10, 3, 1. Stay. You. Way to get low, man. His, I would drop it to his forehand, you know. Stay. Nice one. Good job, good job. Right here. So I caught you moving. Yep. yep. <laughs> so you guys did good that was we went you know almost full speed there and then once you see we got probably four errors just off of us switching back here mm -hmm. you know because you would try to beat me in the back or it's just I don't know where I'm gonna hit it and you hit the net or we get a weak third that's why I'd like our next lesson to be on switching and do -si dos because I'm teaching all my people that and they're gonna be doing that yeah. switch back there so you got to be ready yeah, if you're targeting somebody, yeah, if they're switching like that, I would just pick your side to hit it to and just hit it to it. Yeah, don't pick a person if they're dosy doing because you're going to mess yourself up. Let's see. We got probably one more. Okay, so one more. And Don, I want you to notice that when we sit, switch, it puts me giving, getting the third pretty much every time. Yeah. I can be super aggressive, right? How you doing? Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too, I'm walking away. <laughs> Lisa only knows 100% or That's it. nothing. Yeah. 100% Lisa, if you don't, if you don't let her fly, it's like her wings are clipped and she can't move. She's like a chicken trying to fly. It'd be nice, you know, eventually you'll be able to play the half shot, you know, the halfway. We don't know if that group's playing. Yeah. The thing is, they tried all setting different courts for different levels, and it just fell apart. So everybody's just going wherever now. That's what happened. Well, and there's more people just walking up right now that yeah. clearly are. Yeah, there might be some kind of a thing going on with David or whoever, you know, Ross. Well, we'll just wait for the next one. We probably can get one more in. What time is it? Uh, yeah. 
Oh, we can get a couple more. Yep. Yeah, I was trying to out. So you, when you guys were switching, yeah, <laughs> trying to I was, the first one worked out pretty well. Where I, I, I wasn't sure if you were actually calling it or not, mm -hmm. but I was kind of watching your movement, which told me I could I could do a little top short, which caused both of you guys to come in there. Yeah, so yeah. that one worked out. Yeah, the other one, which. I, on people that, that switch like that, I just go down the line mm -hmm. and I just didn't execute it. Right, you hit the net. Yeah, I hit it too hard. Yeah. Probably I was trying to hit a winner. Yeah. And, and to me, I don't, I'm pretty much looking for that shot. Somebody can get it if they can hit it hard enough. Yeah. And a lot of times, maybe during a really good tennis player, we wouldn't do that particular switch. And the other one, I totally blew. I should have let her have it. The one you yeah. brought us together over there. So sometimes it works for us, and sometimes we have to just say, okay, enough, you know, because we love when other people switch, because we can break their stack really good. And how do you do that? I do it off of, so pretty much if they're going to move over, I hit a really hard serve middle over there, really hard serve middle. So that person has to get it, and they have to try to make it all the way back. And by the time they hit it, it normally always comes to middle. I run up middle, and I smash it down that line. Yeah, because I can almost always hit their feet coming up. That's the main stack buster on that one. If they're on the tee, then we serve it right short and jam them up because this one person's coming over. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's the other stack buster. So it all has to do with the serve. Yeah. I remember you went, I was playing with you, I can't remember who you were playing with, and you said, get ready for a drive. And I'm like, what, what? I didn't know. That was what. my, yeah. And you had that big old serve. Yep. And I wasn't, okay. I was still trying to figure it out. Yeah. That, but most times when, when you do that, that's, that is kind of, it comes short. Yeah. So, right. When I was doing that serve with you, I said, get ready for a drive if you're on that side. Because 90% of the balls, when I hit that curving serve in there, they just hit it back to short middle. And that person's just ready to go tee off on it. Yep. And if you have that worked out as a team, it just, I mean, you can gain five, six, seven, eight, nine points throughout a whole day of a tournament. Mm -hmm. And that's the difference in a, a medal or not. Yep. You know? So me and Mark, we're getting all our plays down. Lisa and I being able to play together and getting these plays down and working on them. That's why you could be doing these switches in rec ball mm -hmm. where finally she's comfortable for when it's for real. But you control it. You just tell her where to go. You know, okay, you're going to cross in front of me. The do -si do which I like. We've won more matches just because of that do -si do I call it, which is the offensive switch. Because mm -hmm. nobody knows it. And nobody's seen it. So they're like, what the hell are they doing? Yeah. And then that allows me to just take 80% of that court on that third. And they're trying to avoid me so much, they're trying to hit it into a 20% spot. You know, and they just make mistakes. Yeah. It just works. It works at the 5-0 level. I couldn't get Yoda to do it, <laughs> unfortunately. The Hall of Fame, Famer I played oh, with. Oh, okay, yeah. He's like, why wouldn't I just switch over there? But I did want to explain the whole thing, you know. Because it would have worked, because they were keying on him, and I couldn't get in the game. It was Jack's fault. <laughs> no. no, Jack did the right thing. She needs to go behind you. Or he needs to say switch. That's probably it. he needs to do that with that team. No, it's good. It's uh, I was gonna tease her first. I was gonna go. You know, what do you want to accomplish? Well, I want to know how to coach my wife. On the <laughs> normally, it doesn't work. Right. You know? And I would have said, well. If you ever learn that, tell me. <laughs> We're actually better now because she will listen. Yeah. Where before it was like, well, why don't I do this? Like, okay, there can only be one captain. I'm the better player. 
I know what I'm doing. Just well, get out of my way. Yeah, she's getting away from the side of the court. She, um, yes. So she's, she's slowly moving in that direction. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah, and I think with part of this lesson was, hey, that's that's your ball. That's his ball. Yeah. You shouldn't be in there, right? Because you're the better player, you know. You can create better putaways, you know, and set up better putaways where she's got basically one speed. So she needs to be able to get you in the game. And usually that's cross-court dinking, you know. Yep, for sure. And her staying out of the middle. That's what has to happen. That's where Lisa and I got better. Yeah. Okay. And she gives me middle now. Okay, here we go. It's still going. All right, still going. <laughs> no, that's not good. <laughs> I heard. Say, I need another partner. I don't want to say the name with the oh. the microphone. Okay, so Cindy, this one, I want you to leave the middle to Don. To Don. Okay. Pretty much you're going to be from there over and there over. I want him to try to take more court. Okay. That's what I want. Okay. Yep. So let's try it. Call it playing the dollar bill. Uh, okay. Side the, the dollar okay. bill on the court, right? I get it. I get it. <laughs> this little alley over here. Maybe not that far, but at least we go that far sometimes. I come off the court sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. But you don't have to go that far. It wouldn't work. So, so let's say, you know, he's up here and he's slam, ma'am, ma'am, and you guys log. Can I cover? There's no way we're logging when we're in a firefight close like that. There's Got it. No way. Okay. But yeah, you would cover. There's certain times. If you're over here and it goes up over your head, you have a better chance of going back there and yeah. getting it. I yep. Don't want to fall asleep right. Day. If it goes back over here, he's yeah. going to have to get it. But it's normally because he hit a shot that set up a lob, which he shouldn't have done. Does that make sense? But I wouldn't have her move physically too far. You tell her what you Because you guys are going to have to figure out your room. Right. You wouldn't go as far as Lisa and I go. Yeah. No. Because okay. I, at my age, I can't cover Right. You, yeah, you don't want to be. So I'm thinking about right there and leaving him middle. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So he can get that dink and either put it in front of himself, he can attack, or he can put it in front of you. Okay. That's what I want to see happen. Okay. I want to see it. Yep, that's the, that's the idea. That's the idea. Now just make it. Yeah, it'll be something new, so just figure it out. Me. And then be pretty aggressive up there, too, Don, on that third. Be a pretty aggressive hunter. Aggressive hunter. What do we have? Two? Two zero, two. Yeah. Yeah, let him let him work it. And it's something new. Rec ball, you'd probably take that one. And I'm not sure that he was thinking it And now you just gotta trust he's gonna do it. And if he doesn't, hey, so be it. We're learning. 
We're going to learn. Three zero one. Two, three zero two. Yeah. So you guys are going to go through the thinking phase first, and it's going to look like crap, but it's a trial. Four zero one, two. Five zero two. Five. No. <laughs> Five zero. Oh, yep. I like that you want that ball, John. John. I don't think he can hear you. Like oh, yeah. Wanted, they, they watch them all. Yeah. I like that he's excited for that ball. Yeah. And he just has to make it. Yeah. No problem. Okay, five zero one. Me. Oh, the netter. Good shot. Zero two. Yeah, I want, I like that attack, just make it, make it, yeah. Make it, make it, make it happen. <laughs> yeah, that shot you took right there should go right to my shoulder, this person's right shoulder, and it works. That's probably what you were trying. Yeah. The ball's getting kind of slow, too. Okay. It could be broken. Uh, no. Yes. Ready? Stand his forehand.
Yes. Now we're on this side. He wouldn't go as far, but he, he's going to put still, pressure. He's yeah. Still gonna take the yes. Okay. I mean, but probably only do about there. Yep. Yeah. And you want to put it back in front of yourself, Don, right? Yep. Any middle. Yep. Yep. Yes, he can straddle that line, and that's probably as far as he'll go. Okay. Yep. And I just got to keep my head up. Yeah. Now that, now that I can't show it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I've been burned before where it's kind of like this, and I have to go there. Yeah. And you don't, you don't worry about the Ernie until somebody shows it. Okay, 7 1. One. Come up. We've iced them. Eight one one. Why do I try? Focus, focus. Nine one one. So, Don, we're just picking on your forehand here. So I'm telling him we're picking on his forehand. 10 1 1. You. Going for his forehand. Say it was a great shot. You. <laughs> He's like, what's happening? Our serve, our serve now. Side out. 10 1. So here, Cindy, is where you would stack and pull him out of there. So we just wanted you to feel what she felt earlier. Well, that's not good. <laughs> because we were picking on her. Your your weakness is that backhand dink. Yes, yes. His weakness is his forehand. So we just went all forehand, right? Okay. Forehand return, forehand third, forehand dinks, yeah. forehand drives. Just to show it works both ways, and then <laughs> we're pretty mean. <laughs> Sorry, Don. No, that's that was just. I got one. I just got tangled up with my hand. Yeah, yeah. Get over. So sometimes we'll ice a person like most of the day. We didn't necessarily do that today, and then we'll go all at them. And then they're like, "What the hell is happening?" Yeah. It's happened. It happened to me this last tournament with Greg. Greg was getting every ball, you know, every ball, every ball. And then they switched over to me, and I'm like. Oh man, I like it's like I hadn't played before. It yeah. was bizarre because I'm thinking, oh man, I'm gonna win every point now, right. and that is not my game. I get set up and put away stuff that he sets up, and I'm yeah, it was horrible. No, it's, it's, well, and the funny thing is, I never really realized it. I, that you that you had that weakness. Or? Well, no, no, no. That, oh. That, that, Brian, in the back of my mind, I'm not going, oh, they're, they're isolating on me because oh, okay. I think I would have been a little more, uh, I would be anticipating better. Okay. Where if, I, if I would have known that, you know. If you would have figured it out sooner. 
you think you could have defended maybe yeah. had a yeah, chance? At least, at least uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think I would. We didn't start the game that way. No, but, we didn't. And then we switched it, and it's like, Phew. And then, yeah, if you don't realize it fast enough, and that's why I told Greg, I said, Greg, I didn't realize what was happening quick enough. Yeah. You know, I should have went. Because we were freezing a person. And once they went to me, the whole thing just jumbled. And I'm like, oh, because I hate going forward. I don't like going forward at all. I like going cross court. But we were freezing that cross court guy out. So I'm going against that guy, but they're attacking me. So it was like, okay, I we lost the game because I couldn't figure it out quick enough. And afterwards, I'm like, oh, shit. Which I consider myself a great strategist, but yeah. they flipped the script on me. Just like Scott Moore did in, in their tournament. I don't know. So if they're isolating on Cindy, yeah. how do I help her out? You gotta be able to stack. Okay. You gotta be able to pull her out because it's normally gonna be her backhand dink. Okay. Yeah, because when you get it to her forehand, she's she's more dangerous. She's gonna attack, she's gonna do different things. She's gonna hit flat dinks, you know, until she learns to reset. But her weakness is that backhand dink. So once they find that, you have to be able to stack and pull her out of there. Even if it's just one or two tries, it changes up. It gives her a break, takes the pressure off. Okay. Because that's a lot of pressure. Just like with you, with me and me and Mark, I was getting attacked when I played with him a lot, you know, which is rare. And then I'm like, okay, they're beating me on this shot. Mark, I need to switch. I pull me out of there. Okay, do this. Okay, boom. So it just gives me that break, and then I'm ready, okay, to get back in there on the spot. I like to play. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that just gives them that break. So in rec ball, you need to really work on stacking. That's the next level, you know. Especially you guys that play together a lot, you can really do some cool shit it's, if we could get our head out of it. Yeah, well, I think we can go there, and, uh, and it's just a matter of, you know, you guys saying to us, work on it. You don't, you yeah. don't have to. It's just a game. Yeah. You're not, there's no car involved, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just play, win, lose, whatever, but work Ex on. Exactly yes. right. It's okay. your drilling. The score doesn't mean anything. Yeah. And you have to be in control. You have to say, okay, hit the ball in front of you and then move over. Boom. And then she knows. Yeah. You have to control the whole thing. So now her brain's not thinking about it. She just knows to be in, on one side of the court. That's it. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah, I think Lori, Lori Whitfield wants to. Yeah, because you would have pulled yourself out of that position if you would have recognized it quick enough. Or maybe she recognized, hey, they're going to his forehand the whole time. We need to do something different. Right. So that would be, hey, we need to stack. Yeah. Yeah. When especially... You know, as, as, as you continue to play during the day or the tournament, you know, your legs get tired, yes. mentally getting tired, you're not thinking correctly. Yeah. So that little switch, you know, brings another dimension. So. It does. And with Mark, I had to do it because he was, he was spasming. So I had to, right, we had to make him move less and me more. And then with Greg, Greg, get, Greg was tired after the first game of this last tournament. <laughs> so, and him and I, because we've practiced stacking a lot, so he, I make him not have to move hardly at all. You know, hey, play your spot. I'm going to cover this whole court here, you know, and just set me up because I know his game really well. He likes to go forward, you know. And he's so good at that. Right, at that block, where I'm not as good at it. Yeah. So once that team switched to flicking at me, where I'm normally good, but they flicked it high, and I never let a ball go out. <laughs> they were just tearing me up. <laughs> it was embarrassing. But yeah, because I can put him exactly where I need him to be to beat, you know, the yeah. team's play. Let's see, what are they doing? And we could try it this last one, but it's up okay. to you. Okay. No, I think it, it, having the instruction. On, the, on this last game is probably good. So we're not going into the cold. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. And we'll just do the the defensive for now instead of the offensive. So the offensive is when we're serving and we do the do-si-do. -si -do. 
but the defensive is when you stack up top, right? And you can either be on the T, that's a stack, or you can do a switch, which is the open hand, close hand. Have you done that? Okay, this is totally new. Okay. I mean, I've played with other players that do it. Yeah. And all you got to do is tell me where to go, and I'll do it kind of thing. But a lot of times easier... The easiest way is to go out on the T instead of doing the switch. So we'll try that this one. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's I think it'd be good to rehearse it yeah. during that game so we can apply it. Yeah. And I mean, are you gonna go against people that can really hit ten percent of a court like we can? You know, probably not. But as you go up, you will. You know? Yeah. Uh, I think they're up. No, not yet. We're next. So I'm getting some spam. Spam chats. All right, Terry, go get it. Yeah, it's still good. Okay, so we're going to show you the defensive stack. Okay. Not the switch, but the stack. So it's going to be more simple. Okay. Because we showed somebody can isolate either you or Don. So if you can be able to pull yourselves out of that, it's going to okay. help you guys. Okay. So we're going to show it, and then in rec ball, you guys can practice it because rec ball means nothing. Uh -huh. you know? right, right. Until it becomes comfortable. Because it is super important. The higher you go, especially in mixed, mm -hmm. it's stacking super important. Right. Is that where I see everybody doing the signs behind their back? Yes, and that's switching. <laughs> and we might, I think we're just going to stack, which is putting somebody on the T, I call it, yeah. which is up on that part. Uh -huh. That way you know where you, you're going. You're not confused with the switch and stop. Okay. So this is a switch. Uh -huh. This is a hold, like a boulder. Uh -huh. This is a fake. Or people will do this as a fake. Okay. But we aren't going to do that, that one yet. Okay. We're going to do just the stack and not the offensive stack just the defensive stack when you're receiving okay super simple okay yeah when people stack on the serve and i just i can well they say can we stack i say yeah as long as you just tell me where i have to be because right. i don't i get confused yeah and that's what don's in charge he's going to tell you uh oh where you have to be <laughs> So once you stack on the defense, do you so there's no stack for serve, correct? Right. I'm, I'm over, well, she's over. If there. you're serving, right, that would be an she offensive likes, stack. She likes to be over here uh, serving. Right. Well, yeah, it's a scorekeeping thing. The, you know, the, I just know okay. I'm even. On yeah, the, right. On the forehand side, she she likes to serve. There. So, you start as the server on even court, right? Yes. Yeah. So, are we going to switch? No, that would be offensive. We're going to do okay. defensive. Okay. Just defensive. Yeah. Okay, so she's back. Now, I would, I think the most important switch is the offensive switch, but it's way more complicated. So, I think the defensive switch, just because if. In mixed, you're looking for an error, and you're usually looking for somebody's backhand. And if they find your backhand on this side, and they are better than you in dinking, yep. they're going to just key on it. Uh -huh. So that's where I think he has to be able to pull you out uh -huh. to give you a break, because his backhand dink is okay. that's like great. That's you said over here, where you said that's where I would have bailed him out. Right, because we were going for his forehand, uh -huh. and just nailing it, nailing yeah. it, nailing it. And we found our dog on a bone, we found our bone, so we just went crap. So you would have, that's, it was kind of a joke, but it's for real, yeah. is that, hey, Don, I noticed they're really keying on your forehand over here, forehand ding, yeah. so let's let's stack on this one. Yep, so that would okay. pull him out of that, uh -huh. and then, yeah, that's kind of how it would work. Okay. Because, I mean, that's, the more you go up, the more once somebody finds yeah. 
something, oh, yeah. they just go, well, it's a hundred percent. Well, then I'll do that sometimes to John, you know, when we're playing with somebody, I'll, I'll go, oh, she doesn't have a backhand. Exactly. I, mean, I have a backhand on certain areas of the court, <laughs> but not, you know, and then there's other places where it's like, okay, that was really bad. Mm -hmm. but. Your, your backhand's better than most that you play against, you know? No doubt. Yeah. It's once you get somebody that can push you behind you, that's when yeah. Yeah. it gets you. And that's what we were doing on that one game. Just yeah, to show. Like, Timmy had me doing that with her the other day because I'll, I'll hit it like right next to her. Yes. Thing. Yeah. And she would keep doing that. So I you know, did a dozen or so of them. Yeah. And she was doing pretty good at it. Yeah. And that was our, our whole lesson the other day was just. Basically, hitting that shot, getting her to step back. Yeah. Yeah, because that's her weakness yeah, is she tries to go laterally and she she gets jammed. Where if you take this huge step back, you can get it. And Don, you do that on your backhand. You don't quite do it on your forehand as much. Yeah. So you get jammed on the forehand. You're doing it, but I think you don't quite have a paddle angle that can bring it back across. Uh-huh. Okay. So that's kind of yeah. where you get burned on that. And it's all technique stuff, which would be a whole different lesson. You know, you can't just, we can't do, add technique and the playing right, right. lesson together. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so on defense, I'm in Jack's position. I receive the ball. Are we, are we going to? Right. She's going to slide. She would be up there in that corner on the tee. We won't, we won't do the slide. We'll do the stack. I get it. Okay. Yep. So I'm receiving. If if it's your right. turn to receive, you'll receive, and then you'll move over to the correct to the left side. And, and she will just move into the court. In. Okay. She just moves over. I come in. Yes. But he'll he'll walk us through. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's. Yeah. Okay, so let's say let's say this is the net here, right? This is the kitchen. This is the middle line. So this would be, you'd be outside the court on this T, I call it. And then whoever would be receiving there, person receiving hits it forward in front of them because that gives you the most time to come across. So this person would just step in and that person would come up to the line. And on the other side, that's the same thing. Yeah, except they're on this tee. Yep. And he'll receive the serve. Receive the serve and hit it forward in front of you. In front of you. Yep. No, in front of you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right here. So here. I'll scoot yes. In. I'll scoot in, ready to go while you're moving up. Because that gives you the most time to get across is when you return in front of you. If you return it short this way, you're going to get smoked. Yep. And then this is, we'll just try this. Yeah. Okay, four up. And then we'll, we'll talk about it once we get into it. Okay. And we'll just set up scenarios. But you're also winding up to hit a hard shot where it needed to be a oh, soft shot. It back here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it just needs to be just you just have to touch that ball and it'll pop over. Okay, just practice wise. Don would be on the tee here, and you return forward, and Don, you just 
drop in and she runs up to that line. And that's good protection. That's what he does. Yep. And now you got to remember where you're at. So you're receiving, and Cindy's on the tee. Yep. That's the hardest part. Okay, zero, zero. So you're going to return to Lisa. Zero, zero, two. Stop. Hold it. Stop. Yep, and you would go over there. So she's on the tee, so she would just hop in her court. Okay, here. Do it again. Zero, zero, two. You. Good one. Oh, no. Never, ever, ever, ever give up. Never, ever. Yeah. Never, ever. And that shot just needs to be a little reset. So what's your score, right? Your score is zero. So a lot of times on this tee thing is I would just get in my court where I normally am and then go to the tee, you know? So then you never mess it up. Does that make sense? Yep, okay, uh, one, zero, two. Good, 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 good. So now go where you're supposed to be. You're serving. Yep. There you go. Yeah. So you're not working on anything when you're serving, so you can just play. Yep. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> one zero one. Behind me. So it's side out, right? What's your score? Side out. So now there's no stacking, you can just play. One. <laughs> I'm ready for your shenanigans I now. Side out? No, it wouldn't be. It's the other one. I don't. We were just right. We were just practicing that. So you're on the tee. Okay, one, one, one. Okay. 
We'll get it to it. Go again. That's why when you practice this recreationally, it'll get easy. One, one, one. You? You didn't move, so you got to get it, right? This is how it starts. Total confusion. You're like a chicken with your head cut off. It gets better. Oh, yeah, probably. Is it? Two, one, two. Okay, sorry. Two, one, two. That's okay. Here we go. It's a Chinese fire girl. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it does put your your team in your best spots, you know. That's the key is knowing where you're at. But in the tournament, if you do stack, you'll have a ref and you can ask, am I good? And then they have to tell you if you're the right receiver and in the right spot. One, two, one. Might be getting tired. Well, if you attack that right shoulder, for somebody who's back in bias, it's a very difficult shot. So when somebody is dumping that ball in the middle there, you're looking for that attack. Okay. Yep. So I, that was right. And it worked. Okay. Because she has to get that paddle from here to here, and it always whips, and it flies out. That's why I like the twos and fours. You can set it up, you know. Okay, two. Two and two. You guys are in the right spot. No. no, no You're in the wrong spot. Gone. So tell them to get on the tee. On the tee. On the tee. Two one two. You? Missed. There you go. So I need more, more athlete, more athlete. Good try. Yeah. All right. Now. It's all practice. That's why we're practicing.
Okay, two on two. Out. Yeah, good job. Three, one, two. Nice. Okay, good. No. Don, this is a gold medal match right here. You got to be focused. I'm getting better. Side out. Okay, three one. Three one one. Oh. Well, you like to hit forehand, so I don't. I don't. We don't teach you that. But all right, I just play. Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. We're letting them work on stacks. Almost. Great idea. You guys, he came over, he switched. It was beautiful. Three, one, one. Four, one, one. So that's if you get a short return, you're in trouble. Yeah. Five one one. You. Ah, shit, man. Yeah. Yep. No, that's right. No. Hey. Six. Okay, you guys are doing good. Just it's practice. It's practice. Practice. Yep. It was Don's fault. He gave me a volley right there, you know. Yeah. Not again. Oh! Uh, yep. 
Yep, good job. Sorry. Good job, good job. I don't think I made it. Well, I don't know. We'll see uh, it on the rewind. Yeah, your point, your point. <laughs> okay, ready? everybody. Alright, here we go. Ready? Yep. You're six. So you're you're normal. You're normal. So how I remember it? Odd is odd where you guys are gonna be odd. Even you're normal. Even is even. So it's an even number. If you guys started this way, this is where you want to be. Seven six one. Me. Eight six one. Even is normal. Odd is odd. Even is normal. Eight six one. You. Eight six two. Me. Oh, good job. Yeah, you just go to that forehand like every time. It's I, I'm not ready for it. There you go. I like it. You keep going to the one spot like constantly. Short, short, short. <laughs> oh no! I was, I was falling into the oh, you had it. I thought you were gonna rock at that one. Yeah. It was. I think it was set up for it. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Me. Nice. Eight six two. That's illegal. Oh. 
Oh no. Nine, six, two. <laughs> I hid that so much I missed. Yes. Keep hitting it down that one spot though. Hey, you can't beat that. Woo! Nine seven? All right, nine seven one. Nope. Oh, good. Hold on. Yeah. Yes. See, I think a lot of those that you hit hard need to be reset. It was it was going to be super flat. Maybe that's the case. Flat. She's up there. You're receiving. Yeah, you receive. She's on the T. On the T. Yep. Good. Ten. Nice. Way to save it. This is our last one. This is our last game. All right, extra innings. Here we go. Ten ten. Ten ten one. Me, you, 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 you. Ten ten two. One more. Good hands. That's what they have for sure is hands, you know. 11, 10, 2. You. No! Are you kidding me? 
<laughs> good job, good job. Yeah, you're welcome. So just in rec ball, work on that stack. Don't get worry about messing up. Just work on it. So when you're serving, we have nothing and when we also have nothing. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's good. CoachDavidLive.com. Like button, subscribe. Thanks. Boop.